Mars, my friends. Today, I'm going to talk about Mars and how to live there if you ever want to move to the Red Planet. We also have two special guests, Tyrone and Juan. First things to consider are, how are we going to sustain a food and water source on Mars? One solution and idea is to build the living areas on top of the polar ice caps and to use excess heat to melt and gather water and bring the necessary nutrients from Earth to augment Mars' soil. Also is the question, how are we going to build and live in a permanent living area? My plan is, before building permanent living spaces, colonists could live in temporary trailers that are interconnected with each other. Waste heat would then be conserved for insulation and for the living spaces. Also, how do we communicate? A solution is to use reinforced satellites made out of carbon nanotubes and meager amounts of titanium in crucial areas. These satellites would orbit Mars and would be extremely durable and take energy from the Sun. These satellites would amplify and boost a radio signal to Earth to make communicating with Earth and Mars easier. So, Tyro, what did I just say? Oh, uh, me no to Espanol. So, what about Juan? Well, what did you say? I do not remember what I said. Another question is, how will we eat? Oh yeah, I'm with Juan. That's a good idea. You have a problem with that? Anyways, how will we eat? Since Mars already has some of the necessary nutrients we need in the soil, we have to grow plants, but we have a sustainable water source, so that is taken care of. The plants would have to be the types with seeds in them, so we can plant them and grow them. Another question is, how will we manage resources? To make sure we do not pollute Mars like we have done with Earth, almost everything has to be made sustainable and recyclable. We also need to make sure none of the things we are using emit greenhouse gases. Also, how will we breathe? The Martian atmosphere is less dense than Earth's, but it does share some of its similarities. For example, the Martian atmosphere contains 96% carbon dioxide, 1.9% nitrogen, 1.9% argon, and numerous other trace gases. I took a rover back to base, thanks to Tyrone. So, here I am standing right next to the control panel that controls the motion detectors that are strung around the base. Hey there, Tyrone. Thanks for the ride. Oh, and by the way, Juan is sleeping somewhere. You are now standing on what is called a satellite launch pad. We send satellites into space to collect data about Mars so we can understand it better. Here comes Tyrone! Thanks for the ride, I appreciate it. Here, I am staying right next to a permanent Mars base. As you can see, it has two open airlocks. There are also two Mars rovers parked up in front for transportation. Well, I guess it's time to wake Tyrone up. 
Well, I guess he's not waking up. So, Tyrone, how'd you like your experience? Uh, it was great. Fancy a Mars rover ride? Uh, sure. That concludes my Mars video today, my friends. You mean we? We? Yes, we. Anyways, thanks for watching and like and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. Start the new rescue helicopter. Hey, build the helicopter. And off to the rescue. Prepare the lifeline. Lower the stretcher and make the rescue. The new emergency collection from Lego City. Croissant.